All right, then. It's time for one of our favorite aspects of the show, Art Display. Today we have Olu Ifeolua, Olu Asheo. Now, he's a visual artist with a degree in visual arts, and his love for art started at a very tender age. He started drawing from comics, he started drawing from nature, and now he owns his own business. It involves art, design, and print. And he's going to be telling us all about it. You're probably wondering, why is Titi holding her phone up? This is because he has created uh, something that has a, a very sweet connection with technology. Yeah. Um, that well, welcome, Mr. Olu. Yeah, welcome. thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Okay, so on our screen right now, you're probably seeing. Uh, yeah, you you are seeing uh, what my phone is showing or showcasing. Uh, let me see if I can hold it up better. So as you can see, um, the phone is uh, viewing the painting that's on the couch. But there is a certain effect which he's going to explain to us uh, in a little while. Okay, so let me try and angle it better. Okay, I'm angling it better now. I can see lightning. I can see rain. I can see a lot of activity happening right there in this painting. Essentially, this painting has come to life. It's come to life. I can see the rain. I can see the lightning. But this was painted with what? Oil paint? Yeah, oil paint. Yeah. Oil paint? Yes, oil paint. So how exactly is this possible? Um, it's possible through AR. Yeah. AI? Yeah, AR okay. simply means augmented reality. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. So break down uh, how this whole process uh, came to be. All right. Um, so basically, uh, I'm a visual artist with uh, over five years experience. Mm -hmm. And I've been painting for a while. And fortunately, I stumbled on AR. Like, okay. I was researching and I saw that, okay, this is something I can add to my artworks, apart from just painting the normal paintings you see in the galleries and okay. um, anywhere you see paintings, basically. Mm -hmm. I was okay, wow, I love this. I want to try it out. Okay. So I, I went researching and I said, okay, let me put one or two things together and I came about it, this. All right, so it, it, it's one thing to put, uh, you know, uh, paint to canvas and put yeah. together a beautiful painting, of which this painting here is actually very stunning. But it's another thing to bring it to life. I can see the Kenu, uh, you know, yeah, uh, moving. <laughs> moving past. Yeah. Um, and I'm wondering how uh, this is possible. Now, I, I had to download an app, of course, yeah. uh, with, as with most phones, you need an app to make this happen. But yeah. you can use this particular technology with any of your paintings? Yeah, any of my paintings, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so um, I have a collection. I just lost a collection of eight paintings. It's titled Colored Reality, basically. Okay. So um, these paintings come to life when you view them through your smartphone. Mm. And uh, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the first, and I'm okay. the best in that's what mm. I do, yeah. Amazing. All right, so I would love to see some of your other works uh, come to life as well. I don't know if uh, our team will give me permission to try and uh, work on this one as well. Can I try? Let's try. Okay. All right, so I'm going to bring this painting over here and see if we can have the same effect uh, happen on screen. Let's see. Uh, can you still see the screen? I think you can. All right, I'm going to hold it steady now. What happens with... Hold it steady, hold it steady. All right, let's see what happens when I hold it like this. Okay, so it's loading a little. It takes a few seconds to load. But talk to us about this particular painting. All right, so uh, basically this painting was inspired from my um, visit to Kano. I okay. stayed in Kano for a year mm. during my um, NYC and um, like the surrounding, I go to the um, Emir Palace. I, I met with the Emir of Kano, I yeah. met with other people. So yeah. I was inspired by what I see around me. Then I said, okay, let me just put them down. And I, I took a lot of pictures basically. Mm. So when I go back to my studio, I you know, pin them down, make a sketch, then I brought this to life. Okay, so I actually feel like this particular... Uh, face looks like you. Have you? <laughs> it looks like you in okay. the entire regalia. I don't know. Um, do you ever feel like maybe you, you see a little bit of yourself in your paintings? Yeah, so basically, I, 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 it's, it's true because I try to, like, as much as possible, put my emotions into what I paint. Mm. You know, sometimes how I feel makes me paint sometimes. I might feel sad and I want to paint something. Okay. And everything. So sometimes I might look at myself in the mirror and, like, oh, wow, <laughs> I need to recreate this. Okay, all right. So uh, this painting is almost loaded now. Uh, just a few more seconds to go. Uh, but I am so interested in this technology and um, how 
just any painting can come to life. So essentially in my house, I can have a normal painting on the wall yeah. and then it comes to life if I walk past and I just, you know, put my phone up in front of it. It's, yeah. I find it very, very special. Very, very special. Yeah, I call, I call it out of the future. Art of the future. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, there is a lot of other art of the future um, yeah. that's being represented now, okay. talking NFTs and the like. Yeah, yeah. NFTs, yeah. You know, um, have you ever considered uh, putting up your work for Yeah, it, yeah it's, it's on NFT, yeah. Oh, already? Yeah. It's on NFT, yeah, open okay. yeah. Was the already. Was the process, was the process uh, long to get it to become an NFT? No, no, it, it's, it's not because I have, like, the images of... Of the artworks already, so I just like sign up with MetaMask and mm. oh, yeah. MetaMask. Yeah, so I use MetaMask to open up, open okay, my open fantastic. Yeah. So, so once you had the MetaMask uh, wallet and you you connected it with, uh, was it OpenSea you used? Yes, OpenSea. Yeah. Okay, OpenSea, yeah. uh, and then you d basically digitized your artwork. Artworks. Um, yeah. Did you did you get positive responses? Yeah, I've been, I've been getting responses basically because um, it's a different kind of NFT and it's a different kind of painting whereby when you get my paintings, you get an access code and you know you can make it come to life. It's not just a static painting that you put in your house. You know, the NFT comes with the, with the access code as well. So mm. you can as well scan it mm. on your phone and okay. view it or you can view it to your system. Okay. So it's basically like you know, a moving image, a mm. smart image. A smart image. Yeah. Um, honestly, the way the world is moving these days, it's like we can hardly keep up. Uh, when, when artworks are coming to life on screen, what next? Goodness me. Okay, yeah. so the, the artwork has come to life finally. Uh, it took a bit of time because of the network, but I'm not sure if you can see the screen. Um, it is showing musical notes. Uh, maybe you can lean it back, lean it back, just lean it back to where it was. I got it. I can see musical notes and uh, the... The character's hands um, moving. All right, let's bring it back up again. Let's bring it back up again. Let's see. Oh, that looks amazing. So basically, it sounds like he's actually playing uh, an instrument. Now, the instrument you're seeing in the picture on the screen isn't actually right there in the actual image. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's like having two different images at the same time. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Uh, this has been a really interesting art display segment today. Uh, thanks for bringing art to life right here on our set with us. We appreciate you. And uh, hey, this is a new angle. All of you that are interested in art, we're interested in the future of art as well.